up guys? A lot of people have been asking me for a movement guide kind of style video and I figured I'm just gonna kind of squash a bunch of the questions I get in the comment section below with just one video purely dedicated to like movement and keybinds and stuff. So to start, my keybinds, I play with aim on hold, lean on toggle, sprint on hold, crouch on hold, prone on hold, and walk on hold. Now, there's a few movement things that require crouch to be on hold, and then there's another few that require prone to be on hold. Generally, you don't need both of these to be on hold, but it's just for good practice, and it like makes your movement a lot more smoother. I play default keybinds, and the only keybind I've changed is push to talk 10, but that's pointless. You don't actually need to have that. It's just what I prefer. Anyway, to start, we are going to do peeking. Now, obviously, you know, you know, you can lean left and you can lean right. Obviously, a lot of people watch Bolo and know about this kind of peek, where you like lean back and forth like that. This is a really dated peek, and there is way better ways to do it. <clears throat> to start, if you really like that style of peeking, just simply don't lean like left and right. Just simply lean to the angle that you're peeking. So in this case, it'll be right. Honestly, I don't really like this style because it's it's very slow and you can get pre-fired very easily. One of the more complicated ones is the Shiko peek. A pro player named Shiko initially like popularized this. I'm very sure that somebody has done this maybe accidentally before him, but the person who revolutionized it and made it a very popular like norm were him and a guy named Newers. But anyway, it was Shiko's original peek. To start, you move to the right, and you ADS like this, like you stay ADS through the Shaika peak. You shoot, and then you move to the left. As you're moving to the left, you un-ADS, and like, uh, what do you call it? Lean left. And that creates this very quick peak. Now, as you can see in the bottom left on the keyboard, a bunch of people have issue, like, issues positioning their fingers, and like, they'll literally change their lean keys to like, mouse buttons. I promise you, dude, just whatever you're on, get comfortable with it. Don't constantly switch. It's not worth it. If me and many other pros can, like, lean like this on default, like, you don't have to completely, like, you know, renovate your keybinds for a peak. Anyway, one more is just simple. Like, in Siege, less is more for movement. Like... I don't know. In 2017, everyone thought this was the meta, and it's just simply not. So if you want to like lean better, just less is more. So you just aim, move to the right, shoot, and move back. Aim to the right, shoot, move back. Now you can do this just staying ADS like this if you don't like want to, you know, overcrowd your brain. But whenever you're moving, if you move without ADSing, you are way faster opposed to being ADS. So if you peek while aiming, shoot, and then un ADS, you're gonna move way faster. There is one more peek, and like I said, you wanna have prone on hold for this rather than toggle. You can do it on toggle, it is a lot better to have it on hold. Anyway, it's called the Hasham peek. I believe it was a meta player who initially discovered this. I could be wrong on that, but I believe Hashem was a meta player. Anyway, as you're peeking, you can do this two ways. You can do it to shoot, or you can do it to gather intel. It is way more advised to do it just for intel, because you will be, like, way less accurate while peeking and shooting. If you want to gather intel, you just peek to the right, press control. Peek to the right, press control. You just tap it. If you notice on the bottom left, you can see, like, it just lights up for a second. I'm barely tapping my key. People use this to troll. I actually think it's a really good mechanic to gain intel. You can also shoot doing this. I believe that's it for peeking. Now, using that same prone mechanic, I'm going to show you guys how to shotgun cancel and reload cancel. Now, you don't need the prone for reload canceling, but it's just for shotgun. Not a lot of people know about this, and I believe the more word gets out, 
this will eventually get patched, so I'd use it while you can. But anyway, in the most recent update, or patch, whatever you want to call it, they essentially made it to where whenever you run and you try to shoot, it takes about, I'd say like 300 milliseconds to actually shoot your gun. It's around the same when you're ADSing. Now, you can instantly shoot after sprinting with any gun. The only gun I'd recommend doing this on would be a shotgun because you aren't gonna be able to instantly shoot at while ADSing because you're not gonna be able to instantly ADS. How you do it is you just sprint, press control, shoot. Sprint, press control, shoot. Sprint, press control, shoot. You can obviously do this with anything, but it's only proper with a shotgun because they do a lot of damage while firing. Now, reload cancelling. There's two ways to do this. I don't really do it the second one. I only do it the first because honestly, you shouldn't like be down to the millisecond on reloading. You should pick a safe time to reload and you shouldn't be shooting at nothing. Anyway, you shoot and you reload and you tap shift as soon as you see the number change to 17. You shoot, second you see it, sh like you uh, sprint. Takes a bit to get used to. This one's purely muscle memory. Anyway, one more reload tip is you shoot, you reload, cancel, shoot, and then you just pop the mag in instead of pulling at the mag like you would normally. I believe that's about it for reloading and leaning. For the video ends, I have one more like small little tip to show you guys on movement. The final movement tip I have to share with you guys is pretty well known, and this probably won't work for you if you're above like Emerald Elo, unless you find something and like innovate something yourself. There's still peaks using this that haven't been discovered, that's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, two of the most common are on Solarium and Chalet, and it's this window and this window. All you're doing is like running and surfing into the windowsill. Now, I'm only going to show you two of them today, not because I'm gatekeeping, but just because, you know, I don't know if you guys would be interested in that kind of thing. If you guys do want to see, you know, all the windowsill vault spots, I can make a video on it and show you guys the ones that I use. But regardless, this one is one of the better ones, I think, in the game. Even though it's known, this isn't a, this isn't a start it, do it from the start of the round. This is a late round kind of thing, because if people are taking library control, you can hold a pixel all the way from this window in a deep library and just one tap them as they walk through it. The next one I'm going to show you is this window. A lot of window sills have spawn peaks. There's one on cafe that is pretty prominent, but I think this one is a little bit more known than that one. Anyway, make sure the glass is shot and you just sprint into the windowsill and you can just peek out of it like this. You can shoot people running from these trees and you can shoot people running down this little alleyway. Or you can peek over the rocks. I, if they come up here, pretty much you're dead though. Because they'll see you way before you see them. Anyway guys, I think that's it for the movement tips. If I miss something, please let me know down below because I try to think of everything I know movement wise in this game that might be a little bit niche or that someone might not know. And yeah, so I'm always, you know, always looking to improve. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know down below what you kind of what you think about these kinds of videos. As always, peace.